Hey guys, it's Flippy here, and today I'm going to teach you how to make stencils in the GIMP. Now, if you're new to stenciling, you should try to start with heads or faces. So I have my image out, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the rectangle tool to select his head. And then I'm going to go to Image and Fit Canvas to Selection. Okay, next we need to remove the background. So use the lasso tool, magic wand, or eraser, and start deleting. Yeah, and sorry if this is a bit tedious, but in the end it helps out and it gives it a bit more detail. Okay, now we can actually start working on the stencil. Go to Color, and then click on Threshold. And now our image has turned black and white. Now, what you want to do is you want to mess around with the dial. If you turn it to the right, it gets darker. And if you move it to the left, it gets lighter. And what you want to do is you just want to play around with it until it, you know you find that sweet spot to where it shows a lot of detail, but it's not you know totally distorted. Alright, but because the last image was really easy to work with in Threshold, I'm going to show you an image that might take a little bit more effort. So using Threshold here, you can see if I move it up, I like the way Elwood looks. That's fine. But Jake's mouth isn't really coming up. So if I move it up higher, now we can see Jake's mouth, but there's like a dark shadow around him and it just looks awful. Okay, so how we're going to fix this is we're going to get the rectangle select tool, and I'm just going to select Elwood here, and then I'm going to go to threshold and just get him to the way we like him. Okay, so now we're on Jake, and what we're going to do is we're just going to nitpick around and select different parts of his body to put into threshold. Like I like the little small shadow under his neck, so we're going to keep that, and we're going to work on the mouth and get that a little bit more thicker, and finally we're just going to select the whole thing and just get it all into threshold. Alright, so after we nitpick with threshold and we got him the way we want him, we can still get the eraser tool and just shape it out to the way we want him, make some parts thinner, you know, and just manipulate the image a bit. Alright, back to the original stencil here. We just gotta get the paintbrush tool and just fix it up a bit, get it to the way we like it, and one crucial thing we have to do is get the eraser tool and cut out the islands. This helps it so it doesn't totally collapse on you and it also gives it some support. And pretty much after that, you're finished. All you have to do is just print it out, cut it out, and spray it. Alright, that wraps this up. Thanks for watching and have fun.